we're in Lodo, which is lower downtown right now, and we're heading up to Rhino, which is River North, and I'm gonna go get some lunch at The Source. So I'm at The Source, and I'm gonna take a barbecue break. This is a Burnt Ends sandwich. That is some good barbecue. The Source is an, a former brick foundry in the 1880s. It's been transformed into this mixed-use project. I'm in one of two artisan food and shopping halls that total 45,000 square feet. And then there's a hotel right here as well. If you're coming to stay at this hotel, one of the uh, sweet benefits is you get access right here to uh, all of this food and beverage, retail. Like two restaurants, a bakery, uh, now there's a vintage store that used to be like a gallery, coffee. Here is a hundred room hotel, and then the hotel has an extended market hall that's where we are right now. New Belgium Brewery, so they're based in Fort Collins, uh, Colorado. So they're brewing beer on spot. We have a rooftop restaurant also called The Woods on the eighth, eighth floor here has an amazing view of like how like downtown in the mountains like it's one of the best view in Denver so uh, that's right on top so they brew a lot of beer for there when people travel now they want to be uh, they want to be in places that are real and th that people in that city really live and hang out this is not the only zeppelin project uh, with a retail component there's something right down the block yes exactly called zeppelin station do we have time to go check it out definitely awesome yeah. let's do it man good <laughs> So Zeppelin Station is a building with offices, like four floors of offices, and then the first floor is a market hall, food hall market hall. So there's like four bays of like retail, and then there's coffees and food halls, and then other bar downstairs. And then, um, so yeah, so we have all those like amazing like restaurants that are more like permanently here, and uh, then we have that concept called Made in the City where every three to four months, we change the focus on a different city. So all the retail bays, it's all brands and makers from one city that kind of take over all the bays. And then we have one of the six food stalls that we bring chefs from one city, from one restaurant. They create the menu, uh, do it, and we bring a lot of like, we bring bands, do workshops, uh, do like visual artists coming here. So it's really like kind of a takeover, like an immersive takeover of a, of a city. So yeah. four floors of office, clearly, this is a huge amenity to those office users. Yes, definitely. Like, that's why they're coming here, is for this awesome it, retail and food and stuff, right? Yes, you definitely have, I think, to stand out. From, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. there's so many like office buildings that are that are popping up like all over Denver, and I think uh, having that here and doing it well, I think we do it well, and then we, it's not just restaurants and retail, I think we bring a lot of, of culture in it too, so I think that's a big part of it, yeah, for sure. If you like this video, we do podcasts and reports and all kinds of cool stuff. The best way to check us out, listen to our podcast, is go to our website, wherewebuy.show. Or you can go on LinkedIn, search for James Cook, JLL, click on follow. You'll get all the new videos, reports, and uh, whatnot in your feed.